So let's begin, press Shift A and then go over here to the Mix node and then what you're going to do is just put it right there and leave it as it is and then press Shift A, go to Filter and go to Sunbeams, the new node. And then take the, uh, alright, I'm just going to stretch it out so you can see ray length here and uh, see what you're doing. So then take the image of the image node and put it in there and then the Sunbeams node and put it on the bottom and uh, yeah, it looks a little messed up. So if I turn this up, now it's going to look like some sort of weird, I don't even know, I mean like who knows, Star Wars thing. Anyway, change it to add instead of mix, and that is how you get the look that you're going for. So it's really easy to pull this off, and uh, it's really fun. So, yeah, if you turn the factor down, you can. Uh, it lessens the effect, basically, as always. I mean, I'm sure you guys know this, but just to inform you. Um, and then, you know, this stuff is pretty cool. So, obviously, uh, it, it's really convincing. It's a lot better than using volumetric lighting faster. So uh, if I bring this up on this side, on the right side, that's going to determine whether or not it's pointing up or down. So if it's over 0.5, it's going to point down, as like so. And if it is under 0.5, here, like 0.3, then it's going to point up, all right? So uh, that's how these light rays work. So you can actually animate these by pressing I on this thing, and it would be really neat for like a video. Uh, if you had a moving light source or something. So I'm going to leave it at 0.7 to make it point down just for this image and then with this on the left side it determines whether or not it goes left or right. So if you have it over 0.5 it's going to go that direction and if you have it under 0.5 it's going to go that way. So yeah, it's pretty cool and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this.